happy Saturday night and welcome back to Dustin and Michelle. Hey guys, welcome. Hi. We're so happy that you're here tonight uh, for another episode of Dustin and Michelle, like, <laughs> like Michelle said here. Uh, we're um, going to be talking tonight about something that just about everybody on planet Earth uses at some point in the day, in the day for something. Right yes. There. And it makes our lives easier. Uh, perhaps lazier. I'm not sure. One of the two. Or for me, more complicated because I never know how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We're talking about the remote control. <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, they're easy to lose. They're easy to um, use sometimes. The dog you know. loves to chew them up. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. If you got a puppy, um, look out. You got to hide those. Forest. Well, watch out. Yeah. So, all right. So when we are looking at remotes, you know, it's there, you find them everywhere as a reseller, you know, you see them laying around, maybe through a yard sale, a Goodwill, or just a remote laying around. And oh, there's Luna. Hey, Luna. Ah, always joins us. <laughs> so um, I see them everywhere. I see them mm -hmm. everywhere. Just random ones. I see them with pieces of electronics that I, and I wonder, oh my gosh, is that controller worth more than the actual item? <laughs> You know, in that, there is sometimes in that case, like uh, DVD, VCR remotes, you know, if, if you just have that singly, somebody is selling that DVD, VCR, and they need that remote to make it complete. Yes. So either way, you know, um, people need remotes for to complete the set or um, they lost theirs and they need a re replacement. Or the dog ate it. Right. So um, they're so easy to list, store, and ship, um, just like, uh, say, like movies. They're also easy to test, even if you're not so... Uh, electronically inclined. Um, That's the whole part. You have to wait to see that part. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's a uh, it's 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 a really easy thing to go ahead and uh, start selling on eBay. Um, let's see. So it's pretty cool though, because you know, there are so many different brands out there that are going to bring high end dollars too. I mean, I'm seriously taking notes, you guys, because. This is something that I want to learn more about, and perfect. I will be taking notes for myself. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's a perfect time to do that. Um, guys, you know, go and take some notes as well. Um, now, some brands, uh, they're going to make some very high-end remotes. Now, like Bang and Olufsen, RTI, there's Savant, um, there's the really popular Logitech Harmony remotes, all different sorts of uh, brands or uh, levels of that. And the Control 4 is another one to look out for. Control 4. Yeah, that's another brand that uh, makes a higher-end remote. And some of those can go for upwards of $300, guys. What? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and what, those are... Those wait, are... What, kind, what's the, what are the names of those ones? <laughs> okay. I'm writing them down. Okay, let's go over it again. Bang & Olufsen. Oh, yes. Okay, Bang & Olufsen. Uh -huh. RTI. RTI. Uh -huh. Savant. Savant. We got the Logitech Harmony. Logitech Harmony. And Control 4. Those are just, you know, Thank some you. of the um, ones that, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Those are just some of them that you might want to look out for. Those are the universal type remotes that you can program and use for all of your different um, components. Um, and those also brand specific. I mean, there's tons of really good brands out there that are high end, like Nakamichi, Denon, Bose, Onkyo, um, Rants. You got all those. Uh, if you see that brand on a remote, um, definitely, you know, just type in the model number um, on eBay and uh, see what it's worth. You know, it's it's really as simple as that. It's typing the model and model number in, and uh, of course you got your you know everyday brands: Sony, Panasonic, JVC, Iowa, Samsung, Teak. You know, uh, well they're a little older, but uh, Technics, Sharp, Philips, Pioneer, all of those. You know, uh, electronics. My brain brands. is like. Well, it's it's seems a lot. Like so much. That's a lot to take in, but I mean, when you start seeing those brands, you just you you know which ones are you know a little bit more. Uh, worthwhile to pick up, but uh, don't discount anything because they're specialty remotes. You know, people need them for their like hot tub controllers. Um, that fascinated me because the hot tub controller, I would imagine, yeah. I mean, you need a specific one, right? Yeah, and if you if it fell in the hot tub and it shorted out, well, you you need to buy a new one. You know, so. <laughs> You know, um, instead of buying a direct from the manufacturer, maybe they're uh, out of business or something. You yeah. Find, you got to find it on eBay, and it's going to cost you two hundred bucks. So, um, a along with uh, Tempur-Pedic, like the uh, Tempur-Pedic beds, uh, those remotes go for really good money. If you ever find one of those, wow, pick that up. That's cool. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be sending you pictures of um, controllers now for the next three weeks when I'm not thrifting. <laughs> 
<laughs> all you got to do is look up the model, honey. Honey, That's what it. about this? Honey, what about this? <laughs> hey, is this a good one? Okay. No. Well, I'll just have to make sure to give me a list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now we got all of those types of uh, controllers to look out for the specialty ones, even like ones for ceiling fans I've sold, you know, for like 50 bucks or so. Um, there's all different types of controllers. Uh, if you see one, pick it up. Even garage door openers. That's a controller, right? We got uh, pet um, shock collar controllers that the, they sell. You know, people need an extra one. What about one. the key thing I got that one time, babe? The key? The key. The Mazda key thing? Oh, uh, a key a, fob. A, yeah, for a mm -hmm. 50 cents at a garage sale. Yeah, I mean, I, that could be considered a remote control. Um, the key fobs. Um, yeah, just like that. You know, I think that's old. Pretty quick for like 60 bucks or something like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. no idea what I just was like, oh, I think I had one like this before. Yeah. So 50 yeah. cents will take it. <laughs> yeah, great deal, honey. Uh awesome. So mm -hmm. um, and then you got your you know, like basic remotes. Here's the Xfinity, you know, people you need know, a spare one, you know, they lost it, Xfinity didn't give them one. Those types of things. Dish network are a little bit better than most of the other like cable company remotes. Here's sort of like a novelty one. Um, it looks like a pair of jeans. It is, yeah. It's hard to it's hard to see, but it's like got a jean sort of uh, cover cool. on it. Yeah, universal remote. Who um, made this cool thing? Uh, that's like Zenith. Zenith. Yeah. Zenith. Mm -hmm. that, and it's oh, it's so ergonomic. Anyways, yeah. okay, it's not a commercial about Zenith. It's a nice controller. Yeah, Zenith. I don't usually pick up Zenith to be honest with you. So there's there's a commercial against it. <laughs> there must be. That's the best thing they make, right? Yeah, there. perhaps. <laughs> uh, here's one of the Logitech Harmonies. Um, this is a very popular brand of remotes that, you know, this one is maybe like a $30 model and it's very old, so it might sit around for a while. But when you get into the newer ones, like I said, there's remotes that can go for $300 and up. So um, look out for that brand, Harmony. Really great uh, remote controller, too. Harmony. Absolutely. Now, cool. so now that um, you're, you know that, you know, you can make a few bucks on remotes once in a while. Um, remotes, like I said, they can range from six to $300 and up. So you got to do your research. Some of them, the majority of them, you're right. not going to want to pick up. You know, it's going to be like six, seven dollars free shipping. Even after shipping um, and fees, you're not going to make anything, even if you get it for free. Okay. So, so I have a, a very simple question for yes. you. Just mm -hmm. because maybe everybody watching doesn't know I'm learning. Well, you say just put the model number in, mm -hmm. but where, how do I find the model number? Yes, the model number you're going to see on most remotes. Um, they're usually at the bottom, bottom of the corner here. And we'll go over that a little. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Um, most of them. Yes, you'll find it right there. Sometimes you have to open the battery compartment and find it. It'll be there. Right here, it's printed on the back, the model number. Okay. Um, but a lot of times you're going to find it at the bottom in very small print. A um, bunch you. of random letters. Oh, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's how you do your research on them um, when, cool. you, when you're out there finding them. Thanks, Dave. Absolutely. Type in the model number. Look how many are available. Check how many are sold. Um, do that uh, sell-through rate research to make sure you're going to find one that is going to sell and not sit around for two years. Um, and then once you've got... <laughs> I'm laughing because you're still working on that with me. <laughs> the oh. sell-through rates. Oh, you know, hey, I mean, it's it, it's not the uh, most intuitive, you know, thing to learn if... So, I mean, yeah, don't worry. Sell through it. It's, uh, once you get it down, it's it's very important for your business. Um, you don't want things sitting around for too long. So, um, when, when you're out there again, you found one, hey, research, we got a 100% sell through rate on this. It's worth uh, $17 and I'm getting it for $1. I could sell it, you know, it's gonna be like a 12 or so dollar profit. So what you wanna do um, is, uh, Open the battery compartment, make sure there's no junk, rust, corrosion in there. If it's a really high-end one worth like $30, $40 and there's corrosion, I'll take it home and take a chance, clean it up. You know, if you got a $30 uh, $30 profit on your hands, I'll, I'll give it a little... A little bath. Yeah, a little bath. Uh, and speaking of that, so uh, all is good. And when you go to uh, uh, test it now, um, so you, uh, you got it home, you're ready to test it. And um, this is how you do that. This is the funnest part, right? Okay. So here we have a remote control for our uh, our studio lights in here, or for for the ones I take pictures with most of the time. So um, so what you do to test your uh, remote controls is you oh, take hi, your. Mom. Oh, Donna's in here. Hey, Donna. Hi, welcome. Okay. Now um, this is this is 
kind of cool that you mentioned that because uh, my mom had helped me um, uh, once in a while. She'd come and do some things for me. And I'm like, do you want to test these remote controls out and clean them up? Um, so before I list them, she's like, yeah, sure. And I showed her how to do it. And she was having so much fun. She's like, is there any more remotes <laughs> to test? You know, because, okay, so how you test a remote. Um, when you look at it and you press a button, the little thing on the end there, you see that, um, nothing. You, you know, just with your naked eye, you can't see anything. But with a camera, I'm going to press a button here and you can see the beep, 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 you know, like the little light flashing a bunch of times. Now you do that with your phone camera. You just point it there and you, you do that and then you can see that it's beeping. So you go ahead and you press every single button on the remote just to make sure you see that beep and that it's working. So check them all. Completely lost me. Okay. So our like, eyes cannot, like... cannot pick up this uh, infrared light here. But, okay. But our cameras can. Our camera, like your camera from your phone? Your camera from your phone. So you hold your camera. From your phone? Yes. And you then just you, open it. Yep. And just uh, look at your uh, camera while it's on, basically. So the camera is facing you. Here, let's see if we can do it. Um, it's a little difficult to do with, um, yes, the camera is facing you. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so we got, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, yes, that's how you do it. So you hold, <laughs> so you can see it like that. The camera's on. Okay. The camera's on, and let's see. Oh, oh yeah, you, you got to do it like this, actually. Anyways, you get the picture. You you look at it, and, and you it, see that it's flashing on it's there like, okay. through your phone. So, but, cool. Yeah, right here, we got a camera right here, so we can just show you like that. Bam, bam, bam. That's what it's going to look like on your phone. And then you take your phone away, and you can't see it blinking anymore. You can't see it with your naked eye. That's how you test remotes. It's a lot of fun. Now that we have them tested, um, we got to clean them up. I mean, there's a bunch of dust, somebody else's dust and dirt and grime on here. You know, they've got chocolate, you know, smudges and stuff. You don't want to take pictures of that, do you? No. So you don't want to send your customer chocolate smudges? No. <laughs> Sounds like my, my remote. Oh, maybe. You know, like everybody's remote. <laughs> chocolate smudges. Exactly. That's everybody's remote. So mm -hmm. um, what you do, you can use a, a scrub brush. You can just, you know, scrub it lightly like that. Um, is if it's like a little bit uh, dampened or whatever, just take a damp cloth and then scrub it again, you know, wipe all that crap off. Um, sometimes you got to like really go in between the rows sometimes. It's just, you know, it's really grimy. It's not the funnest thing to do, but it, it, it doesn't take long to uh, clean these up. Give them a nice wipe down. And then now they're ready for your testing. Uh, I mean, for your listing, right? Mm -hmm. So um, that's I, cool. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. So <laughs> I'm going to be going like this with all the controllers. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to. Um, it's my phone. Honey, show me how to do it again. Oh, yeah. It's uh, you guys. You, you'll figure it out, honey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so now we got a uh, listing. We're going to be listing these things. It's not really hard to do. Take the uh, a good picture of the front. Get a close up of the nice uh, detail. You, excuse me. Detail work that you did. Nice and clean. Um, everybody's going to see that. They want pictures of the, you know, they're going to buy the super clean one as opposed to <laughs> the one that is um, all dirty and grimy, wouldn't you? Mm. Yeah. So, uh, and then you take a picture of the back and then you take a picture of the battery compartment to open that that is also nice and clean. People want to see that, um, that, you know, when they throw batteries in, yeah, that it's just going to start working. Um, say that you tested it in the description and it's going to be uh, working when it arrives and you should be good. Now, now it sells, right? Hey, we got 12 bucks. Now we got to go and, uh, well, hopefully we got like 200 bucks. You know, we found the good ones, right? Yes. But anyway, so um, a lot of these, you know, you're going to make, you know, six, seven, eight, ten to twenty dollars um, is going to be your average profit on remotes until you find those really good ones. But that's okay because how long does it really take you to? I mean, yeah, exactly. know, if they're in good shape, yeah, you it shouldn't know, take very long to yeah. throw them up there. Right. If you don't have to like sit and clean it too much, um, it takes maybe like five minutes total time to like list it, Yeah. throw it in your storage bin. And uh, when it comes to shipping, it only takes another minute or so because all you do, you take uh, some bubble wrap, give it like, you know, three, four layers. That doesn't take a whole lot, like maybe two sheets of bubble wrap, um, put it in a poly mailer and you're good to go. I've received remote controls in the mail with much less padding. You know, like in a poly mailer with no padding. It's like, whoa. Wow. It still worked. It wasn't cracked. So Yeah, but I mean, that's like Hail Mary. Ooh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Why stress out about it? Right. So you're taking <clears> a chance. <throat> Just wrap it in a couple sheets of bubble wrap. You're yeah. good to go. It's going to get there very safely. Don't be that frugal. Exactly. Don't take those kind of <laughs> chances, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to do that. 
So um, now that you've seen uh, that you have seen how easy it is um, to find, to list, to test them, uh, to store them, um, they don't take up much space, right? You can throw a um, hundred of these in a little in a little drawer, you know, um, if you got a bin or something. I mean, wait a minute, didn't when we remember when we were garbage picking on the side of the road in our mm -hmm. video where I found that uh, Bose speaker thing. Oh, yeah. Didn't you sell the controller on that? Yeah, it was just the controller. He just sold the controller on this thing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, yeah, the Bose speaker itself wasn't working very well. But I know, I mean, I've sold so many remote controls on eBay. It's not even funny. I couldn't so, believe it. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was on the side of the road Absolutely in the garbage. True. Like, no one wanted it. Yeah. You know, 15 bucks right there for the, I mean, it was a little remote too, like this big, you know, so. I can't wait till warmer weather so we can do some d dumpster diving. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh my gosh. I know. Yeah. It's going to be that season again. We can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So guys, look out for all of those brands. We're going to show you here a bunch of things uh, to go ahead and look for when it comes to uh, remotes. Yeah, I'm curious. I want to see. Are you going to go to eBay and uh, see what's... Yeah, here we What's go. What's happening at the top? Yeah. So um, now we go on eBay here and we're going to search for, for remote control. I have this already filtered <laughs> at used remote control. I had controls. a heart attack and I saw $45,000. Oh. For, I was like, for a remote. Oh my gosh. No, this is for something else. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Go ahead. I was uh, all right. Startled okay. there for a second. Yeah, right. Um, <gasps> okay. So we're looking at used remote controls. No. on ebay and there are two hundred sixty thousand results here so we're gonna go to the solds here and see what the <coughs> sell through rate is Two hundred sixty thousand available and 47 so you know that's like a one in five sell through rates um not the super greatest or anything but we'll scroll down to some actual controllers here here is a halo um halo touch the control four brand that we're gonna control look out for four yeah. yes look at that 750 dollars. this looks like a really new and modern um remote control you know for your home there's a a few of these listed and have sold so we know that is actually um something that we should look out for here's another one 650 dollars wow that's for the uh control four um yeah. some of these are you know like just say with the remote control or something like that so we'll try to find some singles here so Control 4 is the name of the brand, and then they have different models underneath that. Right, yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Different models that range from, you know, 30 to 300 bucks or something. Now, here's a, a Logitech Harmony. We talked about that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so here's one that's worth $475. Holy cow. Right, I know. Just Why? Uh, well, Why are you they know, so it's, expensive? It might be a touchscreen. It might be something that controls your entire home. Oh. You know, type of thing. Uh, there's another one, four hundred fifty dollars. Things with lots of responsibilities on them. Yeah, you know, they're just adult, lots of adulting stuff on there. Sure, you know, I mean, you, just like a like, like just about anything, right? <laughs> you know, you can. You. Uh, I'm not even sure. Okay, but um, just like anything, you know, yes. you can buy a Ford or you can buy a Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? And these are the top of the line. Yes. Okay. So now here. Here are two Tempur-Pedic Ergo um, remotes here. Um, so somebody wants an extra set. And here are two of them for $390. That went on bids, too. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. There's a couple uh, Logitech Harmony Elites here up at the top. $386 with bids. $400 for the other uh, Logitech Harmony Pro we got here. Some security cameras with remotes. Oh, you know what? Now I know a new place that I'm going to run to when I go into an estate sale. Estate sales, so, you know, for people who have like big TVs and nice, I'm going to go run for them. Yeah, go check to see what kind of remote controls they have. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Seriously. Here's one from Savant. Um, sold not too long ago for $350. Um, let's see what, what else we got here. Um, in this price range, um, those were like the sort of brands that you were looking for that make that sort of right. really high end one. Also, right. here's another one Crestron is another brand uh, to look out for. Um, of course, Sony stuff is always good. Mm. Now, let's check in a price range that we might actually see once in a while. Yeah. Or, or we might I always see love a, this part. A little like more often, actually. 
Uh, let's see. So how about, let's say, um, $20 to uh, $40. Let's see. What, Perfect. Let's see what comes in around there. Okay. So we're seeing a Panasonic remote control for a 3D smart TV. Oh, that's from the United Kingdom anyway. So how about we'll, we'll go um, for a little, little bit better uh, search results. We'll go um, for uh, U.S. only. Okay. So we'll uh, scroll down here to see that here's a lot of remotes. Whoa, that's a lot of remotes. I <laughs> right? The same. 41. The same kind, too. Wow. Okay, let's see. Here's one URX <laughs> uh, Universal Remote. And there's another brand to check out for Universal, Universal. Remotes. Universal. Um, Denon, there's another, again, once a little higher end brand that if you find a remote for it, chances are somebody has the component um, that they. Um, need that remote for it. Now here's Yamaha, um, another brand that we mentioned and like the sort of like everyday uh, brands that you'll find. I see Logitech as well. So they make different tiered. That's why it's really important to look them up because mm -hmm. there's, I've just seen a couple of them in this $30, $40 range too. Yep. The see, there's one. Yep, yeah. Another one, Logitech Harmony. Yep. They make all types of, uh, good to of know. these remotes. Yep. But if you see Harmony, you know that it's you know gonna be worth at least 30 bucks or so and um let's see oh here's minolta remote you know for like a camera um oh. some other specialty remotes pioneer once again a really good brand that's for a audio receiver um those are always good there's so many things that use remotes exactly i know this sounds crazy but i never really thought about how many things have remotes <laughs> i know you and even have like those those electric um vacuum cleaners too they have remotes and like ceiling fans ceiling oh, no. fans um like i said like garage door openers here's one for our studio lights you know i mean there's just there's remotes for everything they make our life easier or lazier i'm not sure which one of the two but and more complicated, <laughs> like more I complicated. said before. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> very appreciative of you, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so appreciative <laughs> of you. Because we make the best team ever, I think. Thanks. Yes. Me too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, look, we got uh, Desert Sellers uh, joining us as well. Oh, hey. Hey, Jennifer. How's, how's it going? Uh, we know Jennifer uh, sells remotes. I remember her doing a, a short on uh, how to test remotes. Uh, so, um, you know, let's uh, find these remotes out there because some oh, of them are worth something. I know. really think you could probably do a couple of shows just on remotes. I mean, because you can categorize them, too. It's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. They're just... uh, there's so many different kinds. Mm -hmm. Like you said. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, and everybody uses one sometime or another during the day. Now, even you have your electronic, you know, remotes on your phone now, you know, with apps and stuff. So. You use a remote that way too, but we need these old vintage physical ones so people can complete their sets. And um, sometimes they need the actual remote because they have a learning remote and they can, you know, uh, program the uh, universal remote, but they need the original remote too. And then they're going to throw the original mode away once it's programmed. So sometimes you just need the original remote. All this tech talk. Oh my tech gosh. Talk. Techie talk. Techie talk. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of techie talk, it's a uh, tiki talk and it's almost pizza time for us here. So pizza time. We always have pizza after after we go live. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Pizza night. Thank you guys for spending time with us. Yeah, absolutely. We hope this uh, helped you get an idea of another sort of like a branch of reselling, another category that you can sort of jump into and start making some profits pretty easily. Like I said, easy to list, test, store, ship. I seriously am all about it. I'm not even joking. I'm on a mission now. That's going to be one of the first things mm -hmm. I go and 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 look for. Yeah, great. Just check out the model number. <laughs> check out the check out the sell through rate. Clean it up, list it, ship it out. It's really that easy. These things are take no time. Yeah, absolutely. And thanks again for everybody that uh, came by. Uh, yeah, thanks for spending time with us. We absolutely. always are so grateful. Absolutely. And uh, have a great week, uh, you as well, Donna. Thanks so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it, guys. Yeah, we hope you guys have a great holiday weekend and mm -hmm. that you stay safe and sound. And if you're getting any crazy weather, make big snowmen <laughs> and 
go sledding. <laughs> I hope we're, I hope we get hit again over here on yeah. the East Coast. Yeah, it melted right away. I so. know. We need to make snowmen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, have an awesome weekend. And we look forward to hanging out with you guys next Saturday night. Absolutely. Don't forget to check out Tuesday nights and Thursday nights videos as well. And the shorts in between. We're having oh, and I mean, if you like us, if you like hanging out with us and you'd like our content, please like and subscribe. Absolutely. What Thank you said. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye, guys. Bye, guys.